Previously on Game of Thrones. But now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. Last house standing wins. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. What you need more than anything is an ally. I have to get in there, Sarah. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. You owe me for this. You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. <laughs> Finn! They're everywhere! We make for the North Grove! Go, Roderick, I know what I'm doing! Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice! Gods. Can you see anything? Is it the North Grove? I don't know yet. The forest of Sigil. Those look like ironwood trees. The North Grove. Beneath the watchful eye of the Ice Dragon. The Ice Dragon? Hear the werewoods whisper. Haven't seen any werewoods this far north. That must be it. We're close. I think I found it. You found it? Are you sure? We can't afford to waste any more time. Not with the condition he's in. I found it, Sylvie. Right under the eye of the ice dragon. Just like it says on the map. You hear that? Hey, eh? It must be close. I hope you're right. I don't know how much further he can go. We need to keep moving. His wound is getting worse. Oh, it burns. It burns like all seven L's combined. Oh. Listen, Garrett. I know I'm not well. And up here, up here that can get you killed. But you've always looked out for me. If anything happens, I want you to leave me. You take Sylvie and don't look back. Promise me, Garrett. I need to know you'll do it. Sylvie would never stand for it. She'd never leave you behind. Which is why it'll have to be you, Garrett. I mean this, Garrett. If I'm gone, Sylvie will need someone to look after her. I know she's stubborn and proud, but she's a good person. Stop talking like that. You're not going to die. If I do, though, she's still my little sister. And if I'm not around to protect her, I need to know there's someone who can. 
What are you doing? I found Nightshade. It's poisonous, but in small doses it can help with pain. It's rare this far north. We can use the Nightshade to make Cotton more comfortable. Right. It'll help keep him calm too, in the right amount. Luckily, I know how to use it. Can you help? See this? Whatever made this must be enormous. Claw marks. Gods. Frozen. Must be a fresh kill. This has to be the North Grove. Oh, finally. I knew it. I told you it was real. I should have had more faith in you. Fuck. Whoever they are, they can help us. Hurry! Wait! No! Garrett! Tell them! I represent House Forrester, our squire to Lord Gregor himself!
this kind of behaviour among my handmaidens. One of you must answer for this. <laughs> Did you think any of them could keep a secret? My lady, I swear to the mother. I... What were you thinking? <laughs> my lady, please. Had nothing to do with the altercation. <laughs> please, Lady Marjorie. Please don't send me back to Highgarden. Finally, you grace us with your presence. I was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve. My lady, is there something I can help you with? I'll get to you in a moment. Do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen I Regent. I didn't mean... Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. From Cersei, no less. Stealing wine, my lady? Uh, I'm shocked. <gasps> Sarah, how could you? Oh, please, don't play the scepter. You have plenty to answer for yourself. <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so flustered. It's just, I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. Tommen's garden party, Mira. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. It was a foolish mistake, Lady Marjorie. We shouldn't have disobeyed you. At least you're honest about it. Sarah's been saying some damning things about you, Mira. I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please! You've said enough. One of you must answer for this. Sarah says you used her to get you into the party. You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Please, Mira. I don't deserve to lose my position for this. Sneaking me into the party was Sarah's idea. Oh, you liar! Lady Marjorie, please! Let her speak. She forced me to come with her. Mira! How could you? I trusted you! And you betrayed me! You're my friend, Sarah, but I can't cover for you this time. You... You've brought this on yourself. No, Mira. You brought this on me. You deceitful, treacherous... One day, all of this will catch up to you, Mira. You'll end up with a knife in your back or your head on a spike. And when that day comes, I'll pray to the Seven for your soul. That's enough, Sarah. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. But my lady... I said enough. Get out of my sight before you make things worse. Oh, such a sweet girl when she came to us. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she betray my trust? Perhaps I did something to turn her against me. She lied about her name, about who she was. Her whole life is dishonest. The only wonder is that we didn't see it sooner. Oh, I suppose you're right. For all the trouble you've brought, I'm glad you came to me. I think of you as more than just my handmaiden. You're a friend. An ally, even. You honor me, Lady Marjorie. But I'm merely your humble servant. We both know that isn't true. I have to distance myself from you for a time. What? Why? There are rumors circulating. Stupid lies about you and a murdered Lannister guard. But stupid lies can be dangerous. I can't be associated with this 
or with you until you put it to rest. I hope you understand. When I'm queen, I can help you again. Maybe we can help each other. Until then, be careful, Mira. And goodbye. Westeros! All we eat is fucking bread! We've passed villages. We should have raided them. You didn't come here to steal from farmers. We didn't come to get ambushed either. But plans change. You can't believe my little brother's gone. All that bloody fool wanted was to come back to Westeros and fight for his family told him it was stupid, that we had a good thing going across the narrow sea. But he did it anyway. All for a family who cast him out. Who banished him to the other side of the world, but begged him to return when they needed him. It all comes back to Lud Whitehill. He's the reason Asher left. And the reason he finally came back. Fucking Whitehills. I keep expecting to turn my head and see him riding beside me. <laughs> Laughing at the idea that he, of all people, could actually be dead. But then I turn and... It's just you. N no offence. It's just... A... Not how I expected this would go. I know how you feel, Beska. No, you don't. You hadn't seen him in years. Him and I, we used to sneak out of Ironrath and get drunk on mead with the Chandler's daughters. He could drink like a fish, but I'd get so drunk he'd have to help me walk home. For one time he even carried me. We did the same thing once, actually. Except it was Valerian fire whiskey and a butcher's girl. Now here we are, both of us, without the man we once called brother. Maybe you do understand. If I do just one more thing in this piss life of mine, it'll be to make those bastards pay. You'll get your chance for revenge. The White Hills have shown their hand. They'll be coming for us now. But first... Roderick has a duty to bear. He needs to tell his mother that she's lost another son. Roderick, where is your brother? I, I don't understand. Did Asher not arrive? No, he, he wouldn't have missed the ship. Griff got to him first. I'm sorry. No! Easy, I've got you. Those animals! Those monsters!
Oh, I don't. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, the Lord's speaker. It's going to speak. Well, trick. My lord, they were very fond of Asher. Asher is dead! Murdered! And make no mistake, the White Hills are coming for us next. Not just our sons, but our wives, our daughters! And who do you expect to fight them? Us? Asher brought us here to fight, but Asher's dead. What's coming isn't battle, it's slaughter. Not if we put up a good fight. Bah. You think we can't see the difference between strength and weakness? Your people are terrified. <laughs> Your walls are made of wood. What's to stop us taking what we want and leaving this shithole? There is food, gold, weapons. We could make out well here. You promised my brother you'd follow us. You are not your brother. And words are wind. They don't mean shit. They mean what I say they mean. In the North, there's only one penalty for a person who breaks an oath. Fuh! He's nothing like Usher! And you're nothing like a real army! Yet you want us to fight like one. What I want is for you to obey your lord. He's not our lord. Show some respect. Doesn't mean shit. Silence! If we fight amongst ourselves, we're dead. If we mistrust each other, we're dead. Either we band together, or Ironrath will be the last place any of us ever see. <laughs> I bring a message from the Lady Gwyn. Gwyn? Gwyn Whitehill? What does she say? They're on the march. They'll be at our gates by nightfall. We're doomed. We're all done for. I think we're done with them. They're animals alone. Fucking great. Please remain calm. Please, everybody. Look to your lord! Shut the gates! Man the walls! Nobody gets in or out! He's lying! Look at him. He's a crow. He doesn't represent the foresters. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. All the more reason not to trust you. We need your help. My friend is sick. By the look of him, your friend is going to die. They must teach you nothing at Castle Black. I could have killed you out there, as easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? If you'd have us believe it's not a lie. This map is from Lord Gregor's journal. It was given to me by my uncle, the Castellan at House Forrester. Beneath the eye of the Ice Dragon. Harida East. You trust this crow? That map could only come from a forester. No one else would know those things. My friend is wounded.
He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vis. Wait! Where are you taking him? Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? She's my friend. A wildling girl? I told you we couldn't trust him. She'll betray you the first chance she gets. My name is El Sarah Snow. This is my brother, Josra. What is this place? A refuge against the forces of darkness during the long night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. Lord Gregor's last words before he fell were, the North Grove must never be lost. What do you mean? Last words before he fell? Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago, betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know? Of course. How could you? He has no idea who we are. Why would he? You're right. He is just a messenger. All he did was blindly follow a map. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Lord Gregor was willing to trust me. If he was, then you can too. He wasn't the best judge of character. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. Whites. Gregor when Fend and Bjornen. This is the gift the Grove gives me. I control these warriors. What about them? Hiftonis! What? No! Let me go! Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. I'll fight. But only if you release her. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Maybe you're the one who should be tied up. We don't have time for this. The dead are coming. I'll untie her, but she'll need to be watched. That's one less warrior, so I hope you know how to fight. Thank you, Garrod. Of course. There's something wrong with them, Garrod. Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready! Aye. Lady Mira! Wait! Tom! What is it? Guards! They're searching your room! Break it down! Search the place! <gasps> They're coming after us for the murder! Holy shit! The knife is in there! We should have gotten rid of that ages ago! Come on! We can't stay here! What's going on, Tom? Uh, Lady Marjorie said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you'd take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. 
There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. You mean... someone's plotting against me? What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you... If they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. Lady Marjorie can't help us. Not now. What? Why not? Oh, she, she just can't. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Being near me is dangerous, Tom. Y you should get as far away as possible. Appreciate the thought, milady. But we're in this together. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. I need allies, Tom. Allies with real power. If I can get an audience with Cersei, maybe she'll put a stop to this. I don't like it. But I can get her a message if it's what you want. In the meantime, there's a collier store by the river gate. On Muddy Way. Meet me there. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. The coal boy. Take him. Gates are down. Archers at the ready. The foot soldiers are armed, for whatever that's worth. Talia and Elena. In the cellars, where they'll be safe. You should be with them, my lady. And let Lud think that I'm afraid. Roderick Forrester! By order of houses Whitehill, Bolton, and Baratheon, I order you to surrender your keep and present yourself for execution. <laughs> He must be shedding his britches. Go fuck yourself, lud. Don't blame me for this, Roderick. Ramsay Snow said only one of our houses can survive. It will not be yours. Ryan, bring the gift. Uh! No. What's he doing? I brought you something to mount on your wall. Come on, lad. Hold it up so your brother can see. <laughs> no! oh, fuck! Oh, you should have seen the rest of him! Or oh, what's left <laughs> after we fed it to the dog? Oh, sham him! Does he have no lip? The next pike's for you, lud! I'll see to it myself. Oh, he's beginning to bore me. Take the gate! Arrows, watch out! Get out of the way! My lord, we must take action. Reinforce the front gate. Use every piece of timber you can find. The fight is on! Yeah! Yeah! 
Find me when the gate falls. We need to get off this bloody wall. That animal! He's taken everything from us. What's happening out there? Nothing good. This is Duncan's fault. I've been in many sieges, but because of him, the White Hills know our numbers, our defenses, the strength of our gate. And they're using Ryan as a human shield. I'd say we have hours, maybe less. Once they break that gate, Ironrath will fall. The problem isn't Ryan, it's Lord fucking White Hill. Cut the head off the snake, this all goes away. Now this is a plan. But how? They'll storm the keep the moment we open the gate. Then we don't go out the gate. Royland, the map. A small enough party could sneak out the postern gate. If we cut through the forest and along this hunting trail, we'd end up here, behind Lud's army. Sounds like a plan to me. We hit their camp, take out Lud, and maybe get your brother back in the bargain. My lord, I'm all in favor of acting decisively. But if you're caught out there, it's all over. This war, your house, your brother's life. Mira may live, but your mother won't. We don't have time to argue, Royland. This is the only chance we've got. As you say, my lord. Just keep your head on out there. Amaya, this is it. We're going to war. Are you with me or not? We are with you. Only because we need to keep our swords sharp. Then we leave this shit cold land. We'll either have won or we'll all be. Ah! Arrows! We need arrows! Royland, I'm trusting you with the defense of Ironrath. They may have greater numbers, but they have none of our fight. You must leave for your own welfare. So you'd cut me loose like some injured horse? Give me a moment. Elena, why aren't you inside? Your maester wants to send me away. The Glenmores have cousins in the Riverlands. I've stood by you since the beginning, Roderick. If our knights together meant anything to you, tell him I belong here at Ironrock. Tell him I make my own choices. My lady, this is foolishness. Of course you do, Elena. This is your home now. Thank you. Roderick, we have to go now. May the gods be with you today, Roderick. I'll be waiting. The gate won't hold much longer, even with the reinforcements. Then follow me. Let's end this before they do. She's left the keep! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. Don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to... Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mira?
The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Working out that Andros was in league with the White Hills, you showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine. A handmaiden, stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. I knew it! I never should have trusted you! Of course not. You should never trust anyone in King's Landing. That might have been your only mistake, but a costly one. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira, but it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. The White Hills don't understand Ironwood. They can't take care of the forests. You may control the trade, but they'll run it into the ground. Only the foresters really know those woods. You're a fool not to see that. If they leave the hills bare, I'll find another forest. I couldn't care less, and neither should you, because you'll be dead. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Oh. Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. You don't need to do this, Lucan. Whatever you think you know, we, we can work something out. Shut your liar's mouth. It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Shit up, Mera. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. No one at Ironraft knows of this. Not that I've ever heard. I suspected as much. Jilsara would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. 
that he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try, and fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend, Cotter, and, and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Sveolod Mopre Befasta! Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well, for a crow. 
I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. You fought well yourself. Or at least your bear did. <laughs> His name is Shadow. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. They seem... fearless. That's what they've been trained for. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. Are you alright? You don't look well. It's nothing. I'm fine. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Vicenir! Did you not hear me? Fulgorn! Suna! What? Wait! Fulgorn Vicenir! You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Einrath. To crush our enemies south of the wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. Jailer, please. Shut it! Please come here! <clears throat> uh, hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking! Jailer! Jailer, come over here! Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? 
We can have a little chat about it. Gods, woman, I said shut it! Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want, then? Tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the father. Whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offence. But we have to keep our heads held high. Even when everything else is taken from us. I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing, just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. Your family needs you. Nothing else matters. I do whatever it takes to survive. Whatever it takes. My lord, please. Please take me out of here! Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Oh, no, no. Come on, you! No! no. Uh, uh, please! Wait, wait! No! Get off! Shut your fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face! Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said, and I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely ruin every forest under his control. Only foresters know how to really work ironwood. That's useful. And then I realized there's something much more valuable than your knowledge of trees, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms, too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A holdfast in the north can only help my ambitions. If... All this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mera. You're in no position to make demands. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs.
The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? Good. She won't get far. Not out here. Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I'm sorry, Sylvie. I need you to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The Nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. I'm sorry, Sylvie. I can't do it. Cutter's my friend. Then you won't let him suffer any longer. You'll see. He's in so much pain. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. What are you doing with that knife? It's meant for you. It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? Oh, I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. Our friends are taking care of her. What do you, what do you mean, our friends? She wanted me to look after you. Protect Sylvie. Ah! Cotter. Oh, I can't bear it anymore. Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. You said you'd help him. 
I wish I could. But I'm afraid it's too late for that now. But you can still use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. I'll do what must be done. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Please. Can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. I'll do it. For the North Grove. I knew I could count on you, Garrett. Use a dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. <laughs> Now grab his heart, quickly, while his blood still pulses through it. Now bring it here. Squeeze the blood into the fire. While it's still warm. Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Now we must burn the body. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. Get over there! This boy has been charged with murdering a loyal servant of the King. Who here bears witness to his crimes? My betrothed can speak to them. Is this true, my lady? My lady! Then in the name of the King, I sentence you to die. Lady Mira, please! Please, this isn't right! Help me! Come along, Mira. I have a busy day ahead. Oh, 
too many fucking guards. Keep your heads down. We'll have to find a way to distract them. Tower gives a great view over their camp. That must be Lord's tent. Of course, he'd take the biggest one for himself. More guards. Place is crawling with them. Horses hate being tethered during a battle. If we can just get them loose. Enough thinking. Where do you want us? See that lookout tower? It was built in a hurry, probably from light, dry wood. Burn it to the ground. Consider it a pile of ash. Meet here once you've done your part. Good luck, Basilisk. Try not to get yourself dead, Westerosi. Can we rely on them? You can trust them to fight. Beyond that... Come on, let's get this done. Secure the forester boy. Make sure the little shit can't escape. He can't run if he doesn't have legs. Do what you must. And if anything happens to me, kill him. Yes, father. Bring me my great sword. Fuck. What do we do? I want to make him bleed. This might be our only chance. We will kill Lord, and the White Hill army will fall apart. Quick then, before he gets away. Don't get too close. When he's distracted, we strike. Now, let's take them. Roderick the Ruined. You've just won this war from me coming here like this. Oh, more White Hills. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Which is fine by me. Makes my life that much easier. You forced me to do this, Lud. We were both forced. By time and circumstance. I hope you understand that. <laughs> It's over, Lord. I underestimated you, Cripple. But it won't do you any good. My soldiers are already tearing down your gates. Where's 
Dr. Rossi, you leave. Where's the basilisk? We were separated during the fight, right before I took Lud's cave. He's dead. Good. I thought Beska would be here. Beska will have to take care of herself. To Iron Rath! What's the situation here, Royal? Grim, my lord. The Whitehills have broken through and the rest of their forces may cross the gate at any moment. We need reinforcements at the gate. Have you seen Dolly. Mother? Why are where you? She? Have you seen Mother? No one knows Get where she... Get back inside, now! <laughs> my lord, your command. Forward! We have to seize the gate! Retake the gate! Now this is the war, Asha promised. to face you whole, no matter. Yeah! <laughs> 
说吧。我操！What you did was right. I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how Forrester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. 
Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. House Forrester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. Patrick? We don't have much time. 